What's up, fellas? Well, back again. I say that every time because we are back again. We're back three days a week, so how you like that? Let me know how you're liking our upload schedule, by the way. We're uh, every Saturday, every Tuesday, every Thursday for the most part. We've missed a few. I apologize, but we're, hey, we're on the road and it's a little tough. But today is all about redemption on Cumberland. That's right. I am back on Cumberland. This after the tournament. We're going to try to catch some big old smallmouth today. And you know who I'm bringing with me? Well, the other day I did a little trip that AFCO put together with Mr. James Fox. We're bringing him along today again. Hey, guys. We didn't get enough of it the other day. Sure did. Now James won a contest uh, that we did on AFCO, Fish With Me contest, and we actually went out the other day and, uh, and caught them pretty good. We caught a couple a couple nice fish, actually three really nice fish. So we're going to drop a link down below for that video. you got to check that out, man. Smile on his face catching this big smallmouth was pretty priceless. But today, it's all about redemption. It's all about catching some big smallmouth. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how I approach this lake. Jerk baits, swim baits, spinner baits. We don't know what's going to happen. Water temperature's like cold. It's gonna be good. All right, 52 degrees. 52 degrees, what does that mean? 52 degrees on a lake like this, when you're fishing for smallmouth, isn't as bad as if you were looking for largemouth. If you're looking for largemouth in 52, they get a little lethargic. The smallmouth still are pretty active in 52. So, swim bait, again, jerk bait, could be big for the smallmouth, and even a spinner bait. The reason a spinner bait would work is because this water has a nice little uh, tint to it. It's not muddy, but it is colored. And that, uh, that'll that make those fish react to a spinnerbait. If it was crystal clear, spinnerbait, bright skies like this, probably wouldn't be the best choice, but we're gonna let the fish tell us what they want. You ready to catch your big old smallmouth, dude? I'm ready, dude, let's do it. James, tell everybody, tell everybody what you do. This is pretty awesome, guys. So guys, I'm uh, active duty Army, stationed at Fort Campbell, part of the 101st Airborne Division, 3rd Brigade Rockassons. Nice. He said he's going to parachute from uh, from one of his planes into the lake if he catches a six pound smallmouth. That's what he said he's going to do. Yep. He's going to call the boys, bring a plane over. <laughs> six pound smallmouth. Six pounder, you got to do. You got to call the boys, even though you aren't jumping anymore. You got to go ahead and call them. Right. Bring them in. What I would do, just uh, just to keep them honest, is throw that spinnerbait for right now. And let me throw this. That way, if uh, for some reason the spinnerbait's working better, we'll know it. That's a little tip for you guys when you're fishing with a buddy. Don't throw the same thing right off the bat because you, you, they might not be biting it that good. Have have someone throw something different, option, option two. I think the water came up like two feet, three feet or something crazy. Oh, really? Hey, hang on one second. Hang on one second. I got it. I'll call you right back. Call you right back. Got one. Bit swim bait. I was about to say spinner bait. But he was right on the... He was right on the... That's a nice one. Look at that. Large mouth. What are you doing in here? He's up there on that tree. He's up there on that tree. Throw your spinner. There's probably another one up there on that tree. Not a real big one. But he was right there on that lay down. Huh. Cool. Cool. There, there's one. A little one. A little spot. Little butter ball. So these 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 fish when they bite on this swim bait, <clears throat> which I'll get you get you throwing yours here in a minute, they just they either tick it and load up. So when that happens, I just basically just take off reeling really fast and sweep the rod. I don't try to like stop and set the hook real hard. I basically just lean into them pretty good and just reel like crazy. And it typically will drive the hook. There's a big one. There's a big one right there. Probably a smallmouth. The way he's fighting, it's a smallmouth. Oh, yeah. Right, you got to get your swim bait on, I guess. They seem to be, they seem to be wanting something swimming by. In the boat. Dude, look at that one. 
And see, that's got clay. There's clay and rock and trees. It's like the perfect deal. It's not super steep, but it's not flat either. Very good. Thank you, Lake Cumberland. Thank you. All right. All right, let's see how, slow it down even more. A little faster than that. About like that, about like that. Real important, when, all right, so let me give you a tip. So, you know, you hear me talk about speed, like reeling it slow or whatnot, and, and that is gonna dictate how deep the bait goes. If you reel it, you know, if you make this cast and you reel it this fast, the bait is only three feet under the water, maybe? If I make that same cast and reel it this fast, the bait gets down to eight or nine foot, like twice as deep. You know, so anytime you're fishing a swim bait on a lake like this, where these, you know, it's got a really big. Anytime you're fishing a swim bait on a really steep bank like this, you've got to figure out what depth those fish are keying in on the best. Smallmouth in general like to feed up. They like to come up and feed. So I feel like getting that, there's one. Oh, he just knocked the fire out of it, dude. Throw across that point. That was a smallmouth for sure. I found a lure. You see it? It's a crankbait over there. We're not going to get him yet, but we got we just found a lure. That's always a good good day when you find a lure. See it? Throw across that a little closer to the point. Not on it, but a little closer. Got it. So guys, if y'all were on Lake Cumberland yesterday or the day before and you lost this spro, Deep little John or whatever it is. Drop me, drop me a comment below, and we'll uh, we'll send it out. Okay. But you get the only way that I know it's you. You gotta let me know what creek you're in when you lost it. If you can tell me what creek you're in, I'll send you this lure. Okay. So drop a comment. Let me know. Most of the time you're gonna feel a thump thump, and then it'll start loading up, and then just swing and reel like crazy. Doesn't have to be like a hook, like a crazy hook set, like trying to worm fish or anything. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. There he yep, we got him. Good job. See? Just like that. Perfect. Oh, he's so such a cool. cute little bass. You did the you did the you did the perfect little like lean into it. You were like, there he is, there he is, and you lean, boom, there he was. Good job. There's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Look at this big small mouth, dude. Do you have one? Yeah, well, I'll tell Look at that big one. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, dude. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what? Look at that. It's a pattern, see? You pull in this creek, down on this bank. There they are. Look at that. That's a big one. That's a big one. Slow it down. Well, wow. you're coming in now. There's another one. Another big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This one might be bigger than the other one. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Another nice one, dude. He's not as big, but he's meaner. Oh yeah, I see them pan, they're spawning, dude. They're spawning. We're gonna wreck them today. We are absolutely gonna wreck them today. There you go. Nice. Double up. Those big ones are tricky, man. The, oh, he's big, oh yeah, dude, nice one. I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, you're running. <laughs> Those big ones sometimes are tricky at first. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good job. Man. Yeah, baby. Good job. <laughs> Boom. That's awesome. That's a perfect. I mean, we pattern. We've got the pattern. I'm telling you, we're gonna catch a lot of fish today. Oh <laughs> man. The pattern is definitely on. There he is. Oh, that feels like a good one. Oh, it's a big one, dude. It's a big one. All right, play yourself out. Oh, mama. Keep a good bend in the rod. Yeah, thumb drag him. Keep a good bend in the rod. 
Awesome. That, that, that's even better to say, like, <laughs> let's go fish that bank. That looks right. <laughs> Boom, get the biggest one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, nice fish. <laughs> nice fish. That was good. You passed the test. You get an A+. Plus. Excellent. got back and farther in this creek and it kind of got a little large mouthy that's a nice one nice Very fish good. and when you're on, when you're on a pattern <clears throat> right and it's a pattern you feel like you know if i roll with this i have a chance to win in a tournament there's other patterns there's a large mouth pattern there's a spotted bass pattern there's it's not like there's one pattern on the lake mm -hmm. but if you feel like that's the pattern that might produce bigger fish i mean you know four pound fish like we're catching I want to focus on that. So I don't want to waste a lot of time getting a bite on things that, and in places where it can throw you off. It can mess your, it, it gives your confidence a little shook up because if you go in a, on a straight bluff wall and catch a three or four pounder, then all of a sudden you're like, well, let me fish this pocket and then let me fish that bluff. And then you start wasting time. And every minute you spend not fishing the pattern is wasted time in essence. If you run and just fish, like a crazy man right now every spot that looks just like we've been fishing you'll just keep catching them that's a fish feels pretty good scared you in a swim kind of sewer right there my friend beautiful choke it too this looks small mouthy right here now. Oh, got him. <laughs> Yay, jumper. Hello, darling. My little, my little friend. Oh, that's a big one. No, not a big one. I say big in all the time. Uh-oh. Thank you. All right, bye-bye now. Oh, I can't tell if he's big or not. I think he, I think he is. It's a real good one. He was right between those trees, right on the bank. Oh yeah. Nice. There's a good one. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. He's not even that big. He's just mad. He's mad at me. I swear, dude, the little two-pounders fight harder than the four-pounders. Go ahead. There's probably a female up there. There he is. That's the female. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a big one. That was probably the female. Dude, look at that. That is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Not that one. Uh-oh. We're hooked up. Digging? Oh, I don't know. Not bad. Not bad at all.
These fish don't stand a chance. We are absolutely killing them today. My goodness. So here's the deal, guys. You know what time it is? It's time for shout out time because we're going to give a big shout out to someone real special for making this all possible. I got to throw a huge shout out to AFCO for putting this event on. Thank you so much. What a fantastic trip. You know, I got to throw it out to Scott and his team here. First class all the way. Um, what a tremendous day. Can't say enough. And uh, last but not least, I want to throw a shout out to all my brothers and sisters in arms out there that are currently serving overseas and their family members. Hey, you guys be safe and hope to see you home real soon. There's another one. Oh, no. like replay like every angle is the same angle just us just whacking them dude wow dude you're the man <laughs> you're a good teacher man i tell you what what a day what a day what what a day i called it though didn't i you i did i got lucky i don't think I, got so. lucky. I was like we're gonna smash them today when they set up the way they set up and I knew where a lot of that stuff was. It was going to be a ridiculous day, dude. You did awesome. Thank you. You did awesome. Thank you so much to AFCO. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Do me a favor. Jump over to the AFCO set. We're going to drop a link down below. They've got all kind of cool stuff from rain gear to hats to shirts to everything you can imagine. We even have a special edition Scott Martin Challenge hat on the AFCO website. So we're going to drop a link down below. Go get you one of those pretty awesome stuff. And again, thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. You learned very well today, my friend. You did awesome. Thank you did really, really good. It's fun your new favorite toy, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I'm going I'm to increase my collection of swim baits for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, it works really good. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. And you know what? We'll see you again. Boom! <laughs>